welcome to Bottoms Down, Chair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Carol, and I'm so glad you've joined us today. We're coming to you from our new Donkey Studios, and we're going to be creating our classes in segments. This is going to allow us to create shorter classes and longer classes and more standing, more seated, etc. So while you're at the Bottoms Down Chair Yoga YouTube channel, make sure you check out the new playlists. While you're there, if you would click on that subscribe button, we would really appreciate it. It's free, and it just lets you know when new videos are posted. I would also love it if you'd leave me a comment. All right, let's get started. So we're going to sit up nice and tall in our chair, and you only need your chair today, nothing else. We're going to lift our heart super tall. The minute we begin lifting that heart, we feel these abdominal muscles engaged. Do you feel that? So I want you to kind of have this feeling throughout our entire class. Heart lifted, belly tight. All right. Next, let's do some grounding. So we're going to take our feet and we're going to ground them to the earth. So we think about we have four pressure points in our feet, the behind the big toe, behind the little toe, and the two points of the heel. So I want you to think about having all four of those points on both feet equally weighted on the floor. Next, we're going to ground our sits bones. So we sit on these pointy bones. They hold our weight. Make sure that you're equally weighted on the chair so we're not leaning one way or the other. Next, I want you to think about pulling your shoulders down out of the ears. Let's place our hands lightly on our thighs, palms facing up. Close your eyes and just breathe. Focus your attention on your heart center, letting go of everything outside of the room. Begin to notice your breath, just your natural inhalation and exhalation. Next, we're going to elongate that breath. So as you inhale, think about making it a little deeper inhale. And then as you exhale, try to push all the air out of the lungs before you inhale again. And breathe normally. Next, we're going to move into our belly breath, our yoga breath, also known as the diaphragmatic breath. As you inhale, the belly extends as we fill the lungs from the bottom up. And as you exhale, you're going to actively pull your belly button to your spine and push the air up and out of the lungs. Go ahead and do that a few times. and breathe normally. Let's do that one more time. Go ahead and see if you can inhale using your belly and then exhale. Pull that belly button to the spine and actively push the air up and out of the lungs and try to make that exhalation longer than the inhalation. Go ahead at your own pace. And breathe normally. Bring your hands to your heart. Set your intention for today's practice. One more breath. Bring your hands back down to your thighs and open your eyes. Ah, how's that feel? All right, let's stretch our necks just a little bit. I'm going to let that right ear fall towards my right shoulder. Drop your chin towards your chest. Drop your left ear to your left shoulder. And 
and drop your chin to your chest. Go ahead and look to the front of the room. Let's look over that right shoulder. Let's look center. Look over your left shoulder. Look center and roll your shoulders up, back, and down. Up, back, and down. Ha! <sighs> and reverse it. Nice. All right, we're going to go through that again. Let's go ahead and let our right ear fall to the right shoulder. This time, I'm just going to take my right hand and I'm just going to place it gently on my head. And I'm not pulling, I'm not tugging, I'm just letting that hand rest on the head. Take the opposite hand and extend it out. It's at a diagonal, palm facing down. Flip that palm up to the ceiling. Just feel a little different in that stretch. You feel it? All right, take this hand out first. Take the right hand off the head. And now, you may even need to help your head up. It's okay, right? If you want to help, give that head a little, a little support as you uh, bring it back to straight. Let's roll those shoulders again before we go to the other side. Reverse it. All right, let's go to the other side. So I'm just going to let my ear fall to that shoulder first and just hold it. And you know what? If you like this best and you don't want to put the hand up there, that's fine. You can just hang out here. It's okay. But if you're with me, I'm going to take my hand and I'm just going to lay it on that head. I'm not pulling. I'm not tugging. I'm just letting that weight of that hand give that head just a little extra stretch. Well, it's actually the neck, right? Okay, opposite hand's going to come down. Palm facing down first. Let's just flip that palm up. Oh yeah. One more breath. Okay, take the right hand down first. Take the left hand off of the head and then just bring that head up. All right, let's roll those shoulders. Let's inhale as we come up and exhale as you come down. Use that yoga breath if you can. Inhale. Exhale. Let's reverse it. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And release. Very, very good. All right. Taking your left hand, bring it around that shoulder. Right hand is underneath it and give yourself a big hug. Oh, yeah. Feel that stretch. And a little self-love for this morning. How does that feel? Ha, ah, right. All right, release it. And let's switch sides. So now my right hand is on top and my left hand is on the bottom. And I'm going to do that again. And hug. Oh, yeah. Feel the stretch. One more breath and release. Very good. Okay, we're going to come to us. Seated mountain pose, we'll start with mountain and then we're going to add that extension. So just start here, kind of feeling those palms are facing out, feel the stretch, belly is engaged, right? Heart is lifted, belly is tight. All right, let's take those hands to the ceiling. Oh yeah, shoulders are down. You notice what I did there? I extended first and then I pulled my shoulders down, belly is tight. Feeling the stretch first. One more breath, and let's bring those hands down. All right, we're going to do that again, adding on. Start with this low mountain pose, just our seated mountain. Feel the stretch, and here we go. We're going to extend those hands up. Now, remember, if you've got shoulder issues, maybe you stay right here in, in uh, area. I call this goal post arms, okay? So this is a great option for you. If you're with me, my hands are up, but my shoulders are down. My belly is tight. Okay, let's put the palms together. Let's interlace our finger. Pointer finger is to the ceiling. Kind of feel the difference there? There's a little bit of difference in, this, in how that feels. All right, let's go ahead and lean our mountain. We're going to start to the right. Now, as I'm leaning, what am I doing? I'm pushing this hip down. My feet are staying grounded. So remember how we grounded those sits bones down. I want you to make sure that you're keeping those sits bones grounded and those feet grounded. Let's come up and let's go to the other side. 
and feel that stretch in the side waist, right? You feel it? Warming things up. Let's come all the way back up to ceiling, our hands to the ceiling, and let's bring our hands down. All right. We're going to add on to that leaning uh, mountain this time. So as I come up, <clears throat> let's. all I want you to do is take your left hand and grab your right wrist, okay? Now, extend it long first. Shoulders are down. Belly is tight. And let's lean it. You feel it? A little different, right? So now I'm kind of pulling gently. We're warming up gently pull on that wrist as you feel a little more stretch. Let's come up and we're just going to go straight to the other side. Extend and lean. One more breath. Come up and release. Now let's roll one shoulder at a time. Beautiful. And reverse it. Very, very nice. All right. We're going to do a couple of cat and cows. So we're going to place our hands on our thighs. Notice how my elbows are a little bit wide here. Okay, so that's going to let you really round down and get that the upper back uh, stretched. So belly is tight. We're going to drop our chin. We're going to round our shoulders. Now look at your belly button. So the biggest thing in this pose is really letting that head fall feeling the stretch in the back of the neck and through the shoulder blades. Okay, we ready? Let's lift our heart up and come into that cow pose. All I'm going to do is take my thumbs to the back wall as I open up my heart. You also got to get a good stretch through those shoulders. You feel that? All right, let's do that again. Round down into cat. Making sure you're letting that head go, looking at your belly button. Let's lift it up, thumbs to the back wall. Let's add the breath. Inhale here. Exhale, round it down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, round it down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, round it down. And release. Very, very good. Feeling good? Okay. So our next stretch, we're going to, I'm going to start with our hands on our chair. Okay. It's kind of like cow pose, but you'll see how we're going to add on to that one here in just a minute. So we're just going to lift that heart up and I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades behind your back. Okay. So here's what I'm doing. I'm here and I'm squeezing my shoulder blades behind my back. You see that, right? My heart is lifted, my belly is tight. I'm lifting up. Now, I'm not looking up, okay? I want the heart is the thing to lift up. Squeeze those shoulder blades back behind your back. One more breath and release it, okay? So see how that feels, and maybe that's the version you want to stay with, and that's a great version. But if you want to add on with me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my hands and they're going to come back behind my head. Now, I'm not interlacing my fingers. All I'm doing is I'm just letting my head rest on the backs of my hands, okay? Elbows are nice and wide. All right, we're going to do the same thing. Are we ready? Squeeze those shoulder blades behind your back. Oh, yeah. What an opening through that chest. You feel it? I feel the shoulders. Make sure your belly is tight, so don't release that belly button. You want to keep the belly button to the spine. Keep that nice and tight. One more breath, and let's hug ourselves. I don't care which hand is on top. Just remember which one is on top so that when we switch, you'll know which one goes on top the next time. Let's open it up and reverse that hug. Oh, yeah. And you can give it a little twist if you want, right? <laughs> a little self-love. I love it. Beautiful. Okay, release it. Now we're going to take that left hand and we're going to put it on the outside of the right knee. Take your right hand and put it back on the chair behind your hip. Now here's the important piece of this whole twist. Extend the spine long, right? Head up towards the ceiling. Shoulders are down. Turn and look over that left shoulder. Let's release that and we're going to go right to the other side. 
This hand is going to be on the outside of that knee. This hand is back here. Extend the spine long, turn, and look over that shoulder. And breathe. Okay, and go ahead and face forward. So we're going to do that again, and then we're going to add one thing. It's not a big difference. It's not a big, uh, it's very subtle, but you will feel the difference, okay? So we're going to take this hand and we're going to place it on the outside of that knee. Take this hand and bring it back to the chair. Now, I want you to take this shoulder and bring it back. Now turn and look over that right shoulder. Do you feel a little bit of difference there? Because we tend to want to hold that shoulder forward, but if you consciously pull that shoulder back before you turn and look, it's going to maximize that stretch. And let's release it. So we're facing forward now and we're going to go straight to the other side. Here we go. Hand on the outside of that knee. The opposite hand is going to come onto that chair. Think about pulling that shoulder back first. Auto automatically I feel the stretch. And now turn and look and I feel even more stretch. So we're just breathing. A natural breath. Don't worry about the yoga breath or anything like that. Just your natural breath here. One more breath and release it. So we're facing forward. How did that feel? I love that one. I love, 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 love that stretch. Okay. So we've done a whole lot for the upper body. Let's give the legs a little bit of love. How about it? Let's take that right knee and open it nice and wide. And let's just hang out here for a couple of breaths and feel that inner thigh stretching. Okay, so I don't know about you, but I feel those inner thighs. This knee, make sure that it's not folding in. You want to keep that knee open to feel that inner thigh stretch. All right, are we ready to move to our crescent lunge? All we're going to do is we're going to let this knee fall straight down to the floor. Now I'm turned and I'm looking over this front knee now. Do you see that? This knee is straight down to the floor and I'm facing over the opposite knee. Hold on to that chair is fine, or hold on to the your thigh is fine. Now, this is a great crescent lunge. If you want a little bit more, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this foot and press it back behind me. See what I did there? I'm still up on my back toes, but I'm getting a better stretch into this front of this leg. But if that's too much for you, then leave the knee bent. It's good. Whatever works for you, I want you to feel the stretch, though. You feel it? All right, let's release that, and we're going to do that one more time before we add on. We're going to be adding on just a little bit to our crescent lunge today. So I'm looking over my front knee. I'm relaxing. I'm trying to relax this glute here so that we're not, have, I don't have a grip on it. I'm trying to relax this leg. All right, let's release that. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to add the arms to this pose. So. We're going to have our hands at heart to start with. Go ahead and add that leg, whatever version of the crescent lunge that works for you. My hands are at heart. Now, let's everybody extend those hands up to the ceiling. And be sure you pull your shoulders down though, right? So we don't want to be here. <laughs> we want to be here. Now, just gently, if it works for you, all I'm going to do is I'm going to look up just slightly. Now, this is not... No wrinkles in the neck, right? So I'm not, you know, letting my neck go. No, that's not good on the neck, okay? So I'm looking up just slightly. I'm keeping my spine long. I'm feeling my back. Do you feel that? So you're getting a little bit of a um, arch in that back. One more breath. Take the hands down to heart first. Release that knee and face forward. How did that feel? Right? That's quite a stretch. All right, the same leg. Now we're going to stretch the back side of that leg in pyramid pose. So again, I've got this foot is grounded. Even though I've moved forward in my chair a little bit so that I can get this leg straight, my sits bones are still grounded to that chair. I'm going to extend my spine long. I'm going to hold on right here and keep my back flat as I let my heart fall forward. So you should be feeling the back of this leg right here, that hamstring muscle. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and lift it up and let's do that one more time. Don't forget to extend first. Crown of the head towards the ceiling. Belly is tight. Keep the back flat as we let our heart fall forward. Oh, yeah.
and let's come up to a seated position. Okay, checking in. Everybody good? We're going to go to the other side. So here we go. I'm going to open that left knee up nice and uh, uh, open here, and let's feel that stretch in those inner thighs first, okay? So we're feeling that nice stretch, keeping this knee towards that second toe. We're not letting that knee fold in. We're keeping it open. We're feeling that stretch. All ah, right. Okay, let's move to that crescent lunge. So we're going to take this knee. We're going to let it fall straight down to the mat first and check in. Let's go ahead and ground this foot down towards the mat. So make sure you have this foot firmly on the floor, this hip firmly on the chair. Then if you want to press this foot back a little bit more, go for it. Let's look over that front knee. Let's start with our hands on our thigh and just feel that leg stretch first, okay? So let's hanging out here. Don't uh, grip that glute. Try to relax and let it, all of this stuff just relax. This whole leg is just relaxed. <clears throat> Even though I'm kind of pressing the back of my kneecap up, so I guess that isn't totally relaxed, but you kind of get the idea, right? We don't want to be gripping anything. We want to have it just kind of there. All right, let's let that knee relax. Just release it. Take that that twi uh, that uh, stretch out for just a moment. Okay, let's add that stretch back in. So there's that crescent lunge. Let's bring our hands to our heart. We're looking over the front thigh. Let's take a deep breath in, and on an exhale, I'm going to extend my hands up to the ceiling, or not, right? Your choice. Now, I'm going to look up slightly. And remember, you can always be at, at goalpost arms. That's always an option. Anytime our hands are up in the air and you your shoulders aren't happy with it like that, come to goalpost arms or keep your hands at heart, right? There's so many options. One more breath. Let's calm down, bring those hands back down to heart, release that knee, and face forward. Everybody good? Pyramid pose. So you'll notice I'm scooting forward in my chair just a little bit because that way I can get my foot extended or my leg extended, okay? So I'm gonna lengthen through my spine. I'm gonna let my heart fall forward, keeping the back flat. I know I harp on that so much, but this whole pose is dependent upon you not kind of rounding, right? We wanna keep that back flat and let it just fall. Guarantee you're gonna get a better stretch. Let's lift up, and we're going to do that again. Extend and hinge. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to just move back a little bit in my chair. Not too much, though. We're going to heel toe our feet wide. Actually, I moved back, and now I need to move forward again. I moved back too far. All right, so I'm going to move forward a little bit more on my chair. He'll toe those feet nice and wide. Okay, so I'm going to hang on to my, my thighs here, and I'm going to let my heart fall forward first. Just a straddle forward fold, okay? That's all it is, a straddle forward fold, but I've, I've got support here. I'm hanging on to my thighs, right? All right, let's go ahead and come up. And you can bend uh, around those that back and kind of rock yourself back up, around your, your uh, self back up to seated, that's fine. So we're just, you know, take a little time to, to uh, uh, warm up that back is all we're doing. All right, and we're gonna take this shoulder now and we're gonna let it fall straight down between your legs, okay? So you should feel a nice stretch through the shoulders. Let's go ahead and come up, and we're going to do that on the other side. As you notice, I'm holding onto my legs. This, that's what it, this is, you know, all about the shoulders. This isn't trying to work the belly or the back or anything else. I'm holding on and lift that up. All right, let's heel toe those feet back together. One more hug. Here we go. Squeeze. You can rock a little bit if you want. You should feel the little bit of stretch in those side waist muscles. I just cracked a vertebra. That felt really good. All right, and let's reverse it. So whichever hand you have on top, reverse it, and the other hand is on top now. And you don't have to twist, right? It's okay. 
I just want you to stretch. So feel that. So I'm not just kind of hanging out here, right? I'm pulling and I'm stretching. My heart is lifted. One more breath and release. All right, let's grab a sip of water. Moving on to our next section. All right, very good. Is everybody feeling good? Let's move on to our next section. Okay, so we're gonna come forward in our chair and then we're gonna heel toe those feet nice and wide. And let's do a straddle forward fold. So again, we're gonna hold on to our thighs. We're gonna pull our belly in and we're gonna let our heart fall forward, all right? So go ahead and tuck your chin and roll up nice and slow. And see how that feels. Let's do that one more time, just like that. Inhale, extend the spine long. Exhale, we're gonna come forward, keeping the back flat, remember. Go ahead and tuck the chin and we're gonna roll it up nice and slow. All right, now if it works for you, we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna move them down our legs to, towards our shins this time, okay? So belly button to spine, extend the spine long, begin to come forward, walk your hands down your legs, stop at those shins, let your head fall. Maybe your heart comes down a little further. Tuck the chin, and we're gonna roll it up nice and slow. Okay, let's do that one more time. Extend the spine long, belly is tight. Go ahead and roll down, walk your hands down, stop at the shins, hold on. Let that head fall. Tuck the chin, and roll it up nice and slow. All right, just checking in to see how that feels. Remember, you can keep your hands on your thighs, you can keep your hands on your shins, but if you're with me and it feels okay, I'm actually gonna put my hands now on the floor, okay? Just a choice. And if you happen to have a yoga block handy and you wanna put that down and put your hands on that, that's fine too. All right, belly button to spine, extend the spine long. We're gonna let our heart fall forward. Keep the back flat. Now, tuck the chin. Put your hands on the floor if that works for you. Let the head fall. Tuck your chin and roll it up nice and slow. And we're gonna do that just one more time. Ready, extend, let the body come forward, keep the back flat, tuck the chin. My head is just hanging out. Now I'm gonna roll it up nice and slow. Ah, see how that feels. All right, everybody good? Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is called garland pose. And garland pose, I'm gonna actually bring my feet a little closer together, but not, you know, totally. So a little bit closer together. We're gonna hinge forward just like we were doing in our seated forward fold, but this time I'm gonna put one elbow on the inside of this knee, my other elbow is on the inside of that other knee, and I am pressing my palms together. So what am I doing? I'm trying to press, I'm pressing away with my elbows and I'm pressing in with my knees. So I'm really activating the inner thighs, pressing. So I'm pushing, in with my legs and out with my arms. You feel that? You feel that engagement in the inner thigh? Belly is tight. One more breath. All right, we're gonna let those hands fall and we're gonna roll it up nice and slow. So a little garland pose uh, is got a little yin and yang to it, right? So as, as we're pressing out with our elbows, we're pressing in with our knees, and we're activating inner thigh and outer thigh. We're gonna do that again. Come forward, put your elbows on the inside of those knees. Ready, press. Press away with your arms, press in with those legs. Pressing, 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 release, and roll it up, okay. 
And we're going to do that again here in a minute once we've done a little hip opening and we'll see if we have any more ability um, with that, that garland pose. So we're going to bring those knees in first. I'm going to scoot back just a smidge in my chair. Not much, just a little bit. We're going to bring that right knee up. Remember how we hugged it in a little bit uh, earlier? So what I want you to do is grab this knee right with your hand and we're going to bring it out and around and up. So we're going to do some hip circles. Bring that knee out and around and up. Do that again. Out and around and up. One more. Out and around and up. Now we're going to reverse it. We're going to do that down and up. You see that? Down and it's kind of going out and around and up. And if it feels better to hold under the thigh, that's okay, right? You can do it this way. It's fine. All right, let's put that leg down and we're going to go to the other side, okay? So again, you can kind of hang on to that knee if you want to, or you can hold on to that thigh. It really doesn't matter. They're both great. Let's bring it out, around and up. Kind of see what I'm doing there? Actually, I kind of like it on the thigh. See, I changed my mind. <laughs> My prerogative. Okay, let's reverse it. So just some hip circles. We're opening up those hips a little bit more. All right, go ahead and put that foot down. Now we're going to do that same series again and see how it feels now that we've done a little hip opening. Okay, so we're going to heel toe those feet nice and wide. So we're going to do a straddle forward fold. Belly is in. I'm going to hold on to my thighs first. I'm going to let my heart fall forward. Tuck the chin and roll it up. So kind of want it to be a little bit like a wave, right? So we come up. We'll let that heart fall forward. We're going to tuck our chin and we're going to roll it back up. And let's do that one more time. Extend. Come forward. Roll, tuck that chin and roll it up nice and slow. All right, we're going to do the same thing. This time our hands are going to come down to our thighs. I'm going to show our shins. See if you can come a little deeper into that forward fold. Roll it up. Let's do that again. Up we go. Hands are down onto the shins now as we're letting our heart fall forward. Tuck the chin and roll it up. We're going to do that one more time. Here we go, down we go. Is anybody getting dizzy, right? If you're getting dizzy, hang on. Okay, if you're getting dizzy, don't let your head come below your heart. So just keep that, you can stay right here and you can still kind of do the same thing we're doing. All right, now listen, let's go forward fold. If you can put your hands on the floor, fine, or hands on your thighs, whatever, but we're not going to roll. We're going to stay, okay? So come down into your forward fold, straddle forward fold. Let the head fall a little bit. Just feel that neck stretching. One more breath, and let's roll it up nice and slow. All right, are we ready to move into garland pose? Here we go. I'm going to put one elbow on the inside of that knee. The other elbow on the inside of that knee, my palms are together, and I'm pressing away at the same time I'm pushing my knees in. So feel that stretch. That yin and yang movement, we're pressing, we're pressing, we're pressing. One more breath and release it. Heel toe your feet. Actually, don't heel toe your feet wide. I want you to feel the external or the internal rotation of those hips. So keep those feet wide and let your knees fall in. So we don't, it's, it's kind of interesting, isn't it? We don't internally rotate our hips very much. We do a lot of external rotation in those hips, but we don't do a lot of internal rotation. So this is just a nice way to stretch those hips in a little bit different way. You feel it? I do. All right, let's open it up. Come back down into your garland pose. Press, oh yeah, I'm pressing out with my elbows, I'm pressing in with my knees, my legs, inner thighs are active, belly is tight, 
One more breath, all right, come up, and let's just leave those feet right where they are and let those knees come together. And internally rotate those hips a little bit, feels good. All right, one more breath. Very good, go ahead and heel toe your feet back together, okay. So the next thing we're going to do is pigeon pose. We actually do pigeon pose almost every class, but I wanted to do it here uh, while we're kind of in this self-love and this, this working through the hips a little bit. <clears throat> so the first version is you're gonna cross this ankle to this knee. Now you notice just like earlier, I didn't bring this knee forward. I'm gonna keep that knee out, okay? So this leg stays out and as I'm crossing this leg over, so that I can feel a little bit more into the hip. We're gonna extend our spine long and we're gonna let those, that heart fall forward, okay? So this is a great version. It's very similar to the legs that we did in our eagle pose, right? Okay, but if you have availability, what I would like for you to do is go ahead and bring that ankle up onto the knee. Now, this might be all the stretch you need. You might say, okay, I'm, I'm pretty good right here. I'm feeling a good stretch into this hip. But if you want a little bit more, we're gonna extend the spine long as we pull our belly button in, and we're gonna let our heart fall forward. Oh my goodness, right? Do you feel that? We're just breathing, just a natural breath. Don't worry about the yoga breath. We're gonna add that in a minute. But for now, just breathe your natural breath. And let's go ahead and come up nice and slow, all right? Okay, so now um, just move that knee a little bit. I, I like to move that joint just a bit before we go to the next version. So our next version of our pigeon pose, I'm gonna put my elbow right here on the inner thigh, kind of above the knee. And then I'm gonna put my hand, my chin right on top of those fingers and then I'm gently pressing, okay? So it's a very gentle move. And if you don't like this whole thing, you can just simply press. And if you don't like any of that, you can just stay right here, right? It's all good. I personally, I feel this one the most. I feel it more than this one and more than the next one we're going to do. But I like to give you options because not everybody has the same body, obviously, that I do, right? All right, let's go ahead and lift up and just kind of move, I call that fluttering the butterfly a little bit. Okay, now we have another version where we're gonna extend our hands up to the ceiling, right? And then we're gonna let our hands come out towards the wall in front of us. And then we're gonna let those hands fall down towards the floor. So you've got options here. Again, you choose which version you like the best. All right, let's go ahead and roll it up slowly and put that leg down. Whew. Let's go ahead and move to the other side. So we're gonna start with that ankle to ankle. So this leg is gonna stay right where it is. We're gonna take this ankle and we're gonna cross it over, right? We're gonna extend the spine long and let the heart fall forward. This is a great version. This is great if this you feel this one right here and this works for your knee and you know, everything that's going on with your body, then you stay right there. Let's go ahead and lift up. But if you're okay with it and it, you want to, then let's go ahead and take that uh, ankle and place it up on that knee, okay? Again, right here is great. And maybe you're like, okay, I don't need any more. <laughs> I feel really good right here. But if you want a little bit more, we're gonna extend the spine long and we're gonna let our heart fall forward. And I really feel this one, right? Really, really, really feel the hip in this particular pigeon pose. Let's go ahead and lift up. Just do a little flutter of that butterfly. Just move that joint around a little bit. Now, what's our next version? You can do what we were just doing, or you can put your elbow right here, put your chin on top of those fingers and kind of press gently. So it's again, it's a great version. It's just whatever works for you. All right, let's flutter that butterfly. And go to our final version. Extend the hands up to the ceiling. We're gonna extend those hands out. And then we're gonna let the hands
hands fall down towards the floor. And we're just breathing. One more breath and let's come up and release that. Okay, everybody feeling good? Let's grab a little bit of water. deep breath in and out. Good job. Okay, we're going to move. We're on the final stretch now. Let's move forward in our chair. We're going to heel toe those feet nice and wide. And we're going to take that right shoulder. Our hands remain on our thighs and we're going to let that shoulder fall down right between our legs. We're going to come up and we're going to do the other side. And come up. Beautiful. Go ahead and heel toe those feet back together. Take that right knee and open it nice and wide. Remember to keep these knees open. We want this knee to stay right at that second toe. We're going to take that left arm, we're going to bring it all the way across our body, grab the chair, lift the crown of the head to the ceiling, turn and look over the back of your chair. Let's release that and we're going to do that again. Bring that hand all the way across, lift and twist. and release. Crescent lunge. Let this knee fall down towards the floor. Push that foot back behind you. Lift your heart. Bring your hands to your heart. So think about releasing this glute. I know that we tend to want to hold it and squeeze it, but I want you to really focus on letting this whole leg relax. See if you can press the back of the kneecap towards the ceiling. You're looking over your front leg. Your hands are at heart. Let's release that, and we're going to do that one more time. Here we go. Take a deep breath in now, and on an exhale, hands to the ceiling, and inhale here, exhale, looking up slightly for a little back bend. One more breath. Bring your hands back down to your heart, and release. Let's face forward. So we're going to move into our pyramid pose. We're going to extend that leg long, toes to the ceiling. Lift the spine long, let the heart fall forward, keeping the back flat, feeling the stretch on the back side of this leg. Let's roll it up slowly and do that again. Extend and hinge. Ha, right, just breathing into it, feeling that stretch. One more breath, and we're going to roll it up nice and slow. Okay, we're going to move into a seated pigeon. So I'm going to either cross ankle to ankle, or I'm going to cross ankle to knee. I'm going to extend my spine long and let my heart fall forward. All right, I'm going to come up, and I'm going to rock my baby. Now I'm going to hug myself, extend the spine long, and let your heart fall forward. Oh, yeah. I'm coming up nice and slow. Go ahead and rock your baby again. Just move that joint a little bit in there. Now I want you to cross your arms the other way. Hug yourself. Lift and let that heart fall forward. Let your head fall, right? Just kind of relaxing everything. I'm so guilty of keeping my head up. Really try to let that head just relax and roll it up. Good job. Let's do the other side. Take this knee and open it up wide. Ha! <sighs> Feel that inner thigh stretch. Bring this arm all the way across your body. Grab the chair, lift and twist. Ha! 
Let's release that and do that again. Bring that hand across, lift and twist, breathing into it. And release. All right. Let this knee fall down towards the floor. Push it back. Lift your heart. Kind of think about the back of the kneecap towards the ceiling, if that works for you. Bring your hands to your heart. Look over that front knee and breathe. All right, let's release that, and we're going to do that again. All right, now the add-on here, if you want it, extend the hands to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in, and on an exhale, we're going to look up. Leave it out if you don't want it. It's fine. Bring your hands back to your heart and face forward. Pyramid pose. Extend that leg in front of you. Lift and hinge. Keep the back flat. All right, let's just tuck the chin and roll it up. And we're going to do that one more time. Extend and hinge. All right, beautiful. We're going to move into our pigeon pose. You've got options. Remember, ankle to ankle is fine or ankle to knee works well. We're going to extend the spine long and let the heart fall forward. Keep your hands on those thighs is fine. Keeping the back flat. All right, let's come up. Now let's go ahead and hug ourselves. Extend and hinge forward. Do you feel a little difference when you hug yourself? I do. I feel a little difference in that stretch. All right, let's come up. And other arm on top this time. Extend and hinge. Beautiful. Ah, let's go ahead and sit back in our chair. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. A deep breath in. And on this exhalation, close your eyes. Flip your palms to the ceiling. active role. Goodness can be a euphoric experience, but it is not a random occurrence. Goodness arises from intention. To the extent your life is good and fulfilling, it is because you and others set out to make it so. Spontaneous fulfillment is simply not going to happen. Indeed, the days and hours will drag you down unless you specifically step forward and pull yourself up. Fortunately, you're highly capable of doing so. Keep reminding yourself that it won't happen automatically. Continue utilizing every opportunity to make goodness happen. By all means, expect the best, hope for the best, then clearly define what that means, set an intention, and act on it. Life can be filled with goodness provided you're intent on taking an active role. Make the commitment to make it happen now and always. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Reach up with your right hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that left hand down towards the floor. Release it. Drop your chin towards your chest. Reach up with your hands. Give the head a gentle tug. Release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Reach up with your left hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that right hand down towards the floor. Release it. 
Look up just slightly. Open your mouth if you want to stretch your jaw. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say Namaste. Thank you so much for joining today. And remember, go to Bottoms Down Chair Yoga on YouTube. Check out our new playlists. Click on that subscribe button. Leave me a comment and I will see you next time.